In this section, we're going to show you how to do the first set of brainstem tests on a patient that satisfies the criteria. The criteria are that they have suffered from a condition which is likely to result in irreversible brain damage and that they are unable to breathe without the aid of a ventilator. In addition, they must satisfy the legal criteria, which include making sure that the patient is not hypothermic and that the blood salts are not disordered. The tests must be carried out by two doctors of at least five years experience post-registration, one of whom must be a consultant. And it's important to remember that the legally recorded time of death is the time that the first set of tests were performed. It is appropriate under some circumstances for the relatives to witness the second set of tests, if appropriately supported. Hi Anita. Hi. Hi, so is this the chap that we need to do brainstem tests right, on? Yeah, Mr Eccles. Right, okay. There's his notes. Okay, we should just put up. Look through here. Okay, just tell me a little bit about this gentleman. Is this the, uh, the elderly chap, 60 year old chap who had the uh, severe subarachnoid hemorrhage? Uh huh. Uh, came in early hours of yesterday morning, grade five, so comatose at the scene. Right. And has never regained consciousness since. Okay. Uh, so, in terms of the first bits of the of the brain stem testing, we should just check his, we can just check his name first. Sure. Okay. okay. So, we've got Mr. Pickles, date of birth 25163. Mm hmm. Hospital number 19606319. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So we've got the right chap. So preconditions. Are we satisfied the patient suffers a condition that has led to irreversible brain damage? So subarachnoid hemorrhage. Yeah, severe subarachnoid <coughs> hemorrhage. Okay. okay, so that's the condition. An onset of unresponsive coma. He came in at five o'clock yesterday okay, morning. Five. And in terms of depressant drugs, He's had no uh, sedation since about 10 o'clock yesterday morning, so right. it's been 24 hours. 24 hours yep. He's had no neuromuscular blocking drugs at all. Uh, his temperature is currently 37. Right. Uh, and in terms of his electrolytes and things, uh, they're all within normal limits. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, right. well should, should we get gowned up and then get, we can. Better get going. Thank you very seat. much. Okay. So, first set of tests do the pupils react to light? All right. So, so, no direct response. Okay, no response on either side. Okay. And again, no, no response. response either side. No response on either side. Okay. Okay. That one. So next, corneal, corneal reflexes. reflexes. Response. No. Okay. So I'm moving on colour testing. testing. Okay. Okay. Cold water. Okay. Cold water. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I had a look at the eardrums earlier, and they were okay, nice the and clear. Ear, eardrums are intact. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Spill on the sheet. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's just get some access to the ear. There we go. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay. okay. Anything at all yet? No, no movement to the eyes. Okay. That's, that's everything. Okay. Any response at no, all? No response at all. Okay. Okay. Right, we'll need to do the same thing on the other side. Yep, okay. Thank you. Anything at all? No movement, no nystagmus. Okay. Alright, it's nearly done. Anything? No, nothing at all. No movement. Okay. 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 So 
my motor responses. So, okay. Anita, can you just uh, yeah. lift the blanket up of his legs as well for us, just so we can. Okay. All right. So, I'm just stimulating the trigeminal nerve in okay. three different ways. So, mm. any response at all? No, no peripheral response. No central response. Okay. Again. Okay. No central response. Again, no response centrally or peripheral. Okay. And again, stimulation. No response at all. No. Okay. So again, no response to stimulation centrally. Okay. Do you want to stimulate his arms and legs? You can. Anything there? No. No, no response. Okay. Anything there? No response. No. And then? No, no response. No. Again, no response. Okay. So next. Okay. Gag reflex. Gag reflex. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's correct, thanks. So gag reflex. Poking at the back. Okay. Again, no sign of any no swallowing or anything. No, occurring. just up again. Sorry. Yeah. Evidence of any cough. No. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Cough yep, reflex. Cough reflex. <laughs> okay. Just doing the uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. So again. Okay, any cough at all? No. No cough. No? No. No, no. okay. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Right. Apnea just test. Apnea test. That's correct. Right. right. Could you just turn the oxygen to 10 metres, please? Yeah. <clears throat> so have we done a gas before? And his yes, CO2 is in normal limits? In normal limits, yeah. Yep. Okay. So we disconnect. Have to turn the ventilator off for us. Mm -hmm. So that's 10 litres of oxygen okay. going in. Just check the time. Good. Okay. I'll just watch and see if we can see any okay. movements. <coughs> Well, there's no respiratory movements there. Is there do you want to do a blood gas, sister? Seven and a half. Right. And that's fine. Still no respiratory, respiratory movements. movements at all. Okay. <coughs> okay, so that's the first set of tests done. Okay. okay. Back on the ventilator. Okay. Yes, we are. Thank you.